what's up too much squad too much gang happy new year let me start off by saying that and like comment and subscribe my name is troy i'm making this video because i just want to talk about accomplishments i feel like i came from a plate a real negative place at the beginning of 2023 where i just um felt like it was the end of the world i was really depressed and sometimes i still fight off those feelings i really had my mind set on a lot of things and social media play a part in that too because social media is really like influential in good and bad ways to the point where you might just start feeling sad about shit that you don't have but honestly i guess if you're going to take anything from it at least get the inspiration and the motivation look at positive uh influences so that that way you can you know influence your thoughts so that way your mentality will be to be like this or to be focused i also took a lot of time to get like closer with myself and like find peace i was like really just going through a lot it takes time and patience for things to work out but not the type of patience where you sit and still waiting for something to happen like you have to actually work towards what you want and i feel like i strive for that in 2023 which i'm really proud of myself and i just want to give myself a pat on the back I this school i started school this year so last year <laughs> i started school last year i attend trinity washington university and I'm kind of sad because my first semester, y'all, I failed um, with like a 2.9 because I, I was taking three classes and I got a full-time job. So it's hard to like maintain things, but it's not impossible. You just got to really like set your mind on the focusing on what you want. And that's one thing I strive for like this year because I feel like last year taught me that it was really possible. If you put your mind to stuff, you can make it happen. I thought I would never be able to get into school because I had to apply, wait till I was 24 to apply for school so I can do it independently because my parents couldn't help me. And it's a lot of things that I can't get support with. And it's okay because I feel like it just make me stronger as an individual. But, you know, sometimes you do need people. Sometimes it's good to have connections and have a good rapport and good relationships with people because they can look out for you and help help things you know connect it's really amazing i'm blessed for all the people that i met who like changed my life like i'm say for instance my principal because I, the job i have now i just started it this how the year went january 17th i started my job i wasn't sure if i was gonna have a position to come to but i ended up having a job like a full-time job in the classroom without a degree which showed me how much it's a need for positive influences in the classroom. Like kids need people out here they can look up to. And I, I want to be one of those people. I do. I really want to be like a positive influence on people. I, and nobody's perfect because I have times where I'm going to do me. And yes, I get ratchet. It happens. But you got to know when to dial it down. You got to know when to, you know, like put your game face on and like be an adult. Which adulting, phew, it's hard. But yeah, that was January. I got my job. I've been working. I've been saving my money. I've been doing good. Then I was thinking, I'm like, man, I want to move out of, from home. Because I was living at home. And there's nothing wrong with living at home. As long as your family lets you live at home, just stock your money, save up. Then you will get entirely what you want. You know, you could do whatever you want to do. Like, it's, as long as you working, it's not impossible. You just got to, like, have a, a part, like, a, mind, a growing mindset, man. That's why I'm just promoting that 2024 mindset on growth and connecting with yourself and, like, seeing what, you, what your needs are and, like, putting yourself first. Because I know for a long time I put other people before me. And that's why I didn't have nothing. You extend yourself to other people so much that you end up with nothing. You be sad. Then when you depressed and you going through all these things, you feeling all these emotions and you don't have nobody. Motherfuckers just be like, oh. That's all people could say is, oh. I guess I'm a hypocrite because I know sometimes I don't be knowing what to say and my answer might, it ain't going to be old oh, though. It's not going to be oh. It's probably going to, you know, we're going to figure it out. And I just wish everybody was on the same page, which is hard to come by.
things like that. But I'm grateful for, you know, my life. I got my job. I was working, saved up. I end up getting my place. And I live with my best friend and her mom. And we love it there. The same people, my cousins, who we be going on vacay with. Like, it's lit. And, and I'm happy. I got my own space, my own privacy. Like, I kept saying... By the winter, I did not want to be walking in the cold. It was It's so cold outside. It make me don't want to go nowhere. It make you unmotivated. But I said, I'm going to get me a car by the end of the year. Come like, what, December 21st, I got a car. That's what I'm sitting in now. I'm happy this is my second car. The pandemic, um, I had got my first car. It was a 2008 Kia Sportage truck. Very nice uh, from the auction. I wish I took better care of it. And I'm sorry to my first girl. I didn't even get the name or like, but we used to go everywhere. Now I'm, I want to really take care of my new car and because I'm paying the car, no baby. I, I really got to, you got to be an adult now, baby. You got to drive safe and, you know, of course, I might need a little bit of glasses because I keep bumping into the curb, but I, you for the most part, it's cool. I love, <laughs> I'm just happy with my accomplishments. I'm pretty, I'm happy that I got everything that I, that I strive for last year, like my job. I got into school, I got my place, I got my car. Like, that make me feel so good. Like, shit is possible. You just gotta really put your mind to it. Now, my goals for this year is to really focus on school because I'm so mad that I failed my first semester to the point where I wanna take summer classes just to make that up. I wanna be more active in my role and my job. I do want to um, connect my life in some way to my job. Like I do have an Instagram called let the kids talk where, um, I do post like videos of some of my students sometimes. So if you ever were to see this, I'm stop, I'm trying to stop cursing as much when I'm recording this year. Like I'm going to try to be more professional and post more content because I really want to get into content creation, learn how to really like be a wig influencer and like make and do my makeup more, like try more styles, like just like really get into myself you know this is the time to really just like focus on yourself because it's no point in like staying in drama it's really dangerous out here i mean like the safest thing to do is you know focus on you i want to speak on like relationship stuff because i feel like my standards need to be i'm gonna just say i feel like my standards need to be higher this year and not to try to say that i'm better than anybody only because i feel like the people that i tend to let into my life tend to let me down a lot and i don't want to be disappointed at all this year and i don't want to be stressed or be crying if i am going to focus on somebody i want us to have a good relationship and be able to communicate with each other and um you know go out on dates occasionally you know but i do like i want somebody to lay with me at night time <laughs> who said that um it's the next day and i woke up to finish this video because i just wanted to let y'all know that being intentional this year is really important when you really put your mind to stuff you can accomplish whatever you want to and last year i found out that was possible so i know that from here on that's gonna be my mindset i'm not gonna go backwards or at least i'm not gonna try to go backwards purposely and i want to push more people in the other direction i do see greater things happening for me in the future i guess it's all about the part that you play in it and i'm grateful for everything that i received and all my blessings and i prayed and i got closer to god i don't go to church it's up to you what you believe but i do believe in god and he works miracles all the time even though i don't frequent the doors of the, of the church i'm just really happy um in my current standpoint in life like how i'm feeling how my energy has been increasing i haven't been feeling so depressed i remember it used to be days where i used to could say that i don't want to be here no more and i don't feel like that anymore and that's awesome that's a really great feeling to work through and it make me feel even more powerful because i had to work through a lot of stuff by myself so just know at the end of the day you are not alone you can always like find somebody to talk to or like to help you it's people out here with with kind hearts like live with a, um with generosity make sure you know just play your part don't do stuff because 
other people <clears throat> are negative. If, if another person is negative, don't like feed into that. Like, just be yourself. I re remember having to remind people, like, you know, the saying when people be like, "You better than me." Sometimes you you kind of are, cause it's stuff that you willing to do that you got the power to do that it it takes other people million miles away milestones and tribulations to accomplish so if you're doing it shout out to you don't give up we got this because yeah that's it that's that's what it is i do want to start posting more content and i will hope that people do like um what, what i'm putting out because not only do i want to show like life that you can have fun in life and you shouldn't limit yourself but i also want to show that you know you can accomplish your goals while doing it i can look back at my youtube channel from 2019 when i first started to now not that the views have got growth it's the fact that i have and i'm happy with that like comment and subscribe and i love y'all thanks for tuning in whoever watching keep it cute peace